In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant we pray that, through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The love of Christ overwhelms us when we reflect that if one man has died for all, then all men should be dead. And the reason he died for all was so that living men should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life for them. From now onwards, therefore, we do not judge anyone by the standards of the flesh. Even if we did once know Christ in the flesh, that is not how we know him now. And for anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has gone, and now the new one is here. The Word of the Lord For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. For you my soul is thirsting. O Lord, my God, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory, for your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands, my soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you my soul is thirsty, O Lord my God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way, the tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. It was very early on the first day of the week, and still dark, when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb, and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. Meanwhile, Mary stayed outside near the tomb, weeping. Then still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, 
and I don't know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me because I have not yet ascended to my father, but go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Something quite amazing, but perhaps often taken for granted, usually happens when we speak on the phone with um, someone familiar. Even if we do not have caller ID, and even before the other party has told us who it is we are talking to, we can often recognize the other just by the sound of the voice on the line. We can identify the other even with a high degree of certainty, without needing to see the other's face. It doesn't really matter what clothes she or he may be wearing during the conversation. And there's no problem even he or she has on a mask or a disguise of some sort. We can still recognize the person by the sound of the voice. And we don't really need someone else to teach us to do this. And ultimately, what makes the difference is the amount of time we spend on the phone with the other. If we do so long enough, the ability to recognize the other's voice comes quite naturally and spontaneously. And perhaps something like this is behind what is happening in our readings today. You know, Mary Magdalene is in a situation of great distress and grief. She has lost her beloved Lord and Master. Earlier from up close, she had witnessed him being merciless, tortured and executed before being laid in the tomb. Now, even his body has gone missing. But the intensity of her grief is not the only obstacle to her recognizing the Lord. The other is the fact that Jesus appears in a form that she doesn't quite expect. She is looking for a corpse, but... He appears as the resurrected Lord. And also it seems plain from all the gospel accounts that the appearance of Jesus after the resurrection was somehow different from that before the crucifixion. Something about him had changed. It is not surprising then that Mary fails to recognize Jesus and even mistakes him for the gardener. That is until he calls her by her name. And once that happens, it's as though the lights suddenly come on in Mary's mind and heart. It is as though she finally learns to disregard all the other things that get in the way of her recognizing Jesus in order to focus on the one important thing. It doesn't matter that he looks different. It doesn't matter that he appears in a form that she doesn't quite expect. She recognizes the sound of his voice and he calls her by her name. The stone cold tomb is transformed into a life-giving womb. Mary receives a new mission to the apostles. And her experience is also offered to us as fellow disciples of the crucified and risen Lord. Especially in times of darkness and confusion, of bereavement and grief, when the Lord may seem painfully absent, when our eyes may be clouded over with tears, unable to recognize His face, perhaps even then we will yet be able to hear and recognize His voice as He gently calls our name. 
But for us to do this, for us to realize that it is truly the Lord with whom we are speaking, even when the caller ID may tell us different, we need to entertain his calls more often. We need to spend more time with him on the phone, even when things are going well. How else will we learn what it sounds like when he calls our name? My dear friends, do you hear the phone ringing today? Now, trusting the Lord's goodness and mercy, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.